my name is Lisa Nissenson. I help lead the new mobility group at Alta Planning and Design and am founder of Greater Places, a tech startup devoted to city design. And welcome to the Plan Edison course on Introduction to New Mobility. Now, new mobility, which is sometimes referred to as smart mobility, is in its most basic form just the application of technology to all aspects of travel. So whether it's a new technology on smartphone to help with navigation and wayfinding, or actually applying technology to new modes like autonomous vehicles, or embedding technology in infrastructure so that you have smart infrastructure that can talk to vehicles and other aspects of the built environment, or analytics and handling of data so that we make more informed decisions on systems and investments. Those are how we might look at applying technology. Technology is poised to bring big changes to our systems, and like any new innovation, it poses both risks and benefits. So for autonomous, there are promises of safety where there's collision avoidance and we can really reduce the number of casualties that happen when travelers uh, encounter each other in crashes. Um, there's also the risk that autonomous vehicles will essentially become planning for cars 2.0. And as planners, we know that that uh, planning for cars 1.0, we're just now digging out of that. So really, how do we put all of it together so that we come up with mobility systems where we get the benefits of a wide range of planning elements? Really, so that active transportation and transit and technology work together on a platform of great city and street design to open up more options and more access for everyone. This course is going to cover the fast-changing world of transportation technology and the implication for planners. So what can you expect in this course? Well, first we'll go over a background, really what new mobility or smart mobility is. Second, we'll look at the different modes and what transportation technology means for these various methods of getting around. And once we talk about the modes, we'll talk about the implication for planning because each one will cause a little nuanced change to how we deal with things like parking and which modes get to go on what infrastructure. Then we'll look at mobility hubs. And these are new ways of putting together all of the different new modes and existing modes, as well as the placemaking and infrastructure to seamlessly put together all of the different aspects of how people travel to and from destinations that they care about. We'll also look at infrastructure of the future as it uh, regards street design, bike trails, uh, bike lanes, and sidewalks. And then finally, we're going to take a really close look at what the new skills are needed so that you as a planner can begin to get out in front of the technology to harness the benefits and limit the risks at the front end of planning. Then we'll finish it off with a couple of ideas about how you could get started right away applying technology to the work that you do, whether you're in land use, economic development, or transportation. It's a whole new world and we're going to have to work together to make sure that we expand our mobility systems for all. So thank you for joining us.